Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lindsay Fisher. I'm the Principal Ballet Master for the National Ballet of Canada. It's my pleasure to be talking to you about our production of Giselle. Giselle is a story about sin, redemption, atonement, and all the things that go in to linking those ideas together. The story approaches these themes through the supernatural. The details are fairly straightforward. There's a young girl whose name is Giselle, she's a peasant. She's being courted by another peasant, Hilarion, and by another young man who says that his name is Lois, but actually this young man is a noble. He's the son of the Duke, and his real name is Albrecht. Hilarion suspects that Lois is not who he says he is. He has noticed that uh, Lois has some rather nice looking clothing, a cape, but he can't prove anything. Unfortunately, as Giselle falls more and more in love with Albrecht, and Albrecht promises to marry her, disaster strikes in the guise of Bathilde, who is Albrecht's real fiance. And when Albrecht walks onto the stage and sees Bathilde there, his duplicity is exposed, and Giselle goes mad, stabs herself, and dies. Because Giselle is a suicide, she cannot be buried in the church, so she's buried out in the forest. Any young woman who has been jilted at the altar, as Giselle was, and is buried in unhallowed ground, can then be recruited by the willies, a sort of spirit of unhappy women. As might be predicted, Hilarion comes to her grave to beg her forgiveness, is caught there by the willies, and danced to death. Shortly thereafter, Albrecht comes also to beg forgiveness, but Giselle rises from the grave and she says to him, I understand how it happened. I understand that you didn't actually mean to hurt me and I forgive you. And at that moment, the willies arrive and Giselle realizes she may be actually forced to dance her lover to death. But she says to him, stand here on this hallowed ground, stand here where I was buried, where we put a cross. The queen of the willies won't be able to touch you there. And at first Albrecht stands there, but he realizes if I don't go dance with her, if I don't respond to her forgiveness, if I can't show that I am as willing to put myself at risk as she is, then all my sorrow, all my apology means nothing. I have to actually find a way to pay. And so he goes and dances with her. And then of course, the willies have power over him and they force him to dance longer and longer and longer and he's about to die of exhaustion when luckily four o'clock strikes and the willies have to go back to their graves. And for a moment, Albrecht thinks, everything now will be perfect. I'm saved, Giselle is here with me, we'll go forward into the rest of our lives. And as he turns to say to her, look at the beautiful dawn, the beautiful future before us, he realizes, no, she's actually only a spirit and she disappears and Albrecht is left alone. But he's not the same man anymore. It's a very interesting role um, for, the, for the male dancer to play. And a lot of men treat the entire ballet as if it were happening in Albrecht's mind, that the supernatural elements are actually just a psychological, a way of visualizing psychologically what is happening in Albrecht's mind. Uh, for Giselle, it's a little bit different. I don't think Giselle has to pretend that the willies are manifestations of her inner life. I think for Giselle, it's more a question of embodying one of the great dramatic roles in the entire repertory. It is a, it is a seminal role, one of the few ballets to exist for more than a hundred years, and for the reason that it has enormous dramatic and technical challenges, which for the woman dancing Giselle, it is an encounter with one of the great roles in the entire repertory. Of course, the way it is danced now, more than a hundred years after it was first performed, is quite different. But the challenge of approaching perfection remains the same. Somehow, the closer one gets to embodying a spirit, an idea, the more difficult it in fact becomes. Uh, Giselle is not just a technical challenge, it's not just about jumping without sound, it's also a tremendous dramatic challenge to eventually lose one's mind on stage. Um, requires enormous courage, enormous fantasy. It was said of Celia Franca that when she danced Giselle, she was unapproachable for three days before and three days after because the strength of her characterization took over so much of her life. 
And I think that is probably the truth with every woman who approaches this role. I think it's probably also the case with many audience members. I think this is an extraordinarily powerful ballet, and I wish you a great deal of pleasure in watching it. Thank you. Thank you.